It has officially been two weeks since the Georgia Tech Spring 2023 semester has started. And I just wanted to make a video today talking about my expectations for this semester and my impressions thus far, taking my last class in the Masters in Computer Science program, CS6515, Graduate Algorithms. This class definitely gets a ton of attention and hype, or maybe not hype, I guess I should say like notoriety maybe, but people talk about this class a lot just because it is definitely a class that you can't really get into until you're almost done with the program and it ends up for many people being the last class that you're required to take and pass in order to graduate. I believe it's a core course for all of the specializations. Could be wrong on that, but I know it's a specialization for a couple of them at least. Uh, so this is definitely a course that it seems like most of the people that do OMSCS have to go through. With that being said, I know it also gets a lot of attention just because it is known to be a difficult class and one that requires a lot of time devoted to it every week. So going into this course or going into this semester, I kind of knew that it would be a more difficult one. I only had one class left in order to graduate, but even if I didn't, there's no way that I would really want to pair this class with another class, especially while working. Before I start talking about my initial impressions, I'll just talk about what I've actually done so far. So I know that this is definitely a course that a lot of people will take the time between semesters or before the semester starts to prepare or watch the lectures or brush up on big O notation or even like start looking at the textbook ahead of time. I definitely did not do that. So I basically just took the time before the semester started as vacation time because I wanted to relax and use that vacation time, obviously. And I don't think that it will hurt me too badly since it seems like while some people do prepare before the class starts, it doesn't seem like everybody does it. On top of that, I already did do an algorithms course in undergrad, but I will say this class so far seems to go way more in depth and the expectation is a lot more difficult than it was in my undergrad course at UNC Chapel Hill. I actually got a little bit of a late start considering I was traveling the first week of class and all the way through MLK day. So I didn't really start looking at the material or getting myself familiar with the breakdown of the course and how it's going to work until Monday. So that was, you know, the second week of the semester officially. So I kind of feel behind, but I do take comfort in knowing that a lot of people joined the class on the open enrollment date, which was the Friday, so the end of the first week of the class. I'm definitely not alone, and I will say that a lot of people, it seems like, are spending a lot of time on this course already, or I should say have already spent a lot of time on this course. I did join a study group and people in the study group are way, way more proactive and it seems like they have already spent and will spend way more time than I will. However, it does seem like even though I haven't spent as much time as them, it seems like everybody still feels kind of uneasy and not that comfortable with the material. Thus far, I really haven't done too much. I would say I've kind of done the bare minimum, but that's hopefully gonna change as I catch up slash settle in. Pretty much so far, I've just watched the lectures, did one you know, poll, which is essentially just a participation quiz, and the first homework. I haven't done any of the practice problems since those are ungraded, but I eventually think I will need to just because I was able to complete the homework, but it took me well over an hour, I would say, for each question. So I'm not sure what the exams are going to look like time-wise, but I have a feeling that's going to be too slow. I will say just in broad strokes, this class has lived up to or maybe even surpassed my expectations just with the amount of energy that it takes to keep up with the seemingly massive amount of content that we are inundated with. I mean, if you check ed announcements, the various threads on there and discussion, Slack, and if you're in a study group, it's pretty hard not to feel a little overwhelmed with just the amount of content, but 
I actually, like I said, haven't really taken much action. Like in terms of actually sitting down and trying to learn the material and do the assignments, it hasn't really been that bad thus far, but I know that I will have to eventually sit down and do these practice problems just to prepare for the exam since they are going to be closed book, closed internet, um, and timed. I don't really know any more details since I don't think they've released it, but it will be interesting, you know, kind of getting my first homework back. And once I go into the first exam, since there are three, that will really be the litmus test of how the rest of the semester goes. I'm excited for the semester uh, in terms of outlook and like my kind of mood and intention for this course. It has shifted, you know, going in, going into this semester, I really just wanted to completely get through it, not really caring if I learned that much. Certainly that's how I treated the undergrad algorithms course I took. Um, of course, like I said, that was much more fundamental. Like we spent a lot of time learning about just like how to assess big O notation and stuff like that, um, like how to assess runtime. And we really glossed over dynamic programming, which is the first subject of the Georgia Tech version of this course. So um, my intention is definitely not the same. Back then I didn't really care that much. Now I care a little bit more just because I actually see, especially with the environment we are in, with the tech layoffs, I really see that there is value in getting better at formulating algorithms and solving these problems algorithmically, quickly, and efficiently, both like me solving them and in runtime. So it actually did help that I did study some leak code problems a couple months ago or last summer, because some of these problems I've actually done before, but I'm still not very good at them. It should be a pretty interesting semester, so please stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel and at least upload somewhat consistently, like twice a month is the goal. So like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so, and I'll see you guys next time.